four years ago. Yes. Right. It's been a while. It's been a hot minute. <laughs> so let's kind of go real quick through the early parts, right? Okay. About your journey. And then we'll get into like where you're at today. So okay. first is what got you into real estate? The recession. <laughs> So I jumped in when everybody else was jumping out. I had just gotten a degree from ASU in realty studies and the market took a massive shift and I learned how to do short sales extremely quickly and started doing those and realized within about three months that I was one of the few people on the planet that could actually get them approved at that time. Yeah. So that was the quick and dirty jumping into real estate and just kind of took the bull and just ran with it at that point. So what's a short sale? Short sale. <laughs> uh, might see some more of those starting to, starting to come to fruition. <laughs> might. Um, what it is is it's where a homeowner owes more on the home than it is worth in its current condition. So example, you have a $300,000 mortgage. Maybe the home's only worth two fifty in its current condition. We submit a packet of paperwork and negotiate with the lien holder to approve the sale at the market value. Yeah, and the more recent ones you've done, I think when we've talked about it, was buying someone buying a house with VA loan. VA loans. Um, we're also doing a ton of reverse mortgages right now. Uh, home really? equity conversions. Yeah, we're doing a lot of those because the baby boomer population is, you know, they're at that age. Mm-hmm. And um, a lot of them have taken out the reverse mortgages, which in turn leaves a substantial debt on the property. And then when they pass, their heirs are kind of stuck with it, for lack of better words. So we're working out short sales on it, cleaning it up. Property goes, you know, down the line and then ultimately gets resold generally to, you know, an owner occupant. Yeah. So this was 2007 or 2008? Uh, 2008. 2008. So that's when we first connected. Um, and so you're doing short sales then. And actually I talked to people here or there. They're like, Hey, you know, I got a situation where it's there upside down. It's like, Oh, talk to my short sale guy. It's like, you have a short sale guy. <laughs> like there's still a short sale guy out there. That is me. Yes. <laughs> How many short sales are you doing right now? Uh, right now I think we have in queue, I want to say it's over a hundred that we're still that we're working on right now. Yeah. So, I mean, we're still, we're doing them still just not at, not at the 08, 09, 2010 numbers, but we're still doing a lot. And we are starting to see some trickles of certain areas where there's a little bit more of a concentration of them. Again, a lot of that goes to like the reverse mortgages that we're seeing right now. Okay. So you have a reverse mortgage or you just don't have enough equity. Matt's your guy. I'm so, your guy. Uh, how many have you done total? Short sales? Yeah. Between uh, my wife, and who's my business partner, and myself... And our transaction manager, Marissa, one of the greatest in the game, um, we've done over 18,000 since 2008. 18,000 short sales. Yes. Okay, so if someone has a deal where there's not equity, how do they send that to you? Usually what I say is just go ahead and send me an email with property address, preferably the bank information and kind of numbers, what you think it's worth, what... Um, what, uh, what you think it's worth, and then ultimately what's owed on it. From there, generally, we're going to know within about five minutes whether or not it's going to be something that we're going to be able to work through as a short sale. Email address? Matthew at stunninghomes.com. Yeah. So for those of you guys that don't know, like, I got the chance to be the guy known for short sales. I go out there, promote. It's like, guys, if you're upside down, let me list your properties. And then I would just have Matt do all the work. So it was a great situation for me for many years. It was. Absolutely. And I'll never forget when we sat down, had lunch, and you were like, this is what I want to do. And I'm like, yeah, I'm all in. Let's go. Yeah. And, well, here we are. And back then you were getting paid 1% on my $60,000 transaction. So $600 for the banks for, for months. Four of us to split. Before you to split. <laughs> yes. Okay. So.